Hello everyone, it's Jessica Wilkinson, your Young Adult Services Librarian. And for this week's Teen Book Talk, I'm going to talk about some of the New Year reads that you can check out at the library. So let's get started. The first one is Children of Ragnarok by Cinda Williams Chima. Ever since Ragnarok, the great war between the gods and the forces of chaos, the human realm of the Midlands has become a dangerous place, bereft of magic, where most lead lives of desperation. Sixteen-year-old Eirik Helvorsen is among the luckier ones between fishing, going viking, er, and working his modir's farm. The family has remained prosperous, but Eirik stands to lose everything when he's convicted by a rigged jury of murdering his modir and stepfather. Also at risk is his half-sister, Liv, whose interest in Sadir of magic has made her a figure of suspicion. Then a powerful Jarl steps in. He will pay the blood price if Eric will lead a mission to the fabled temple at the grove, the rich stronghold of the wider spinners, the last practitioners of sorcery. Spellsinger, musician, and runecaster, Regan Eichland has spent her life traveling from town to town performing at alehouses, all for the benefit of her master, Asgur, the fire demon, she is desperate to escape. Then, after one performance that amazes even Regan herself, two wired spinners in the audience make her an irresistible offer. Return with them to the temple to be trained in Sadir forever free of Asgur. Eric, Liv, and Regan's journey converge in New Dotenheim. The sight of the temple at the grove, a paradise fueled by magic, they soon realize that a great evil looks beneath the dazzling surface, and that old betrayals and long-held grudges may fuel another cataclysmic war. It will require every gift and weapon at their command to prevent it. Sweeping adventure, breathtaking twists of fate, and immersive worlds based in North mythology are woven into this first volume of the Runestone Saga from New York Times bestselling author of the Seven Realms and Shattered Realms series. The next book is Secrets of the Silent Witch by Matsuri Isora. Monica, the Silent Witch, is the world's only pack practitioner of voices magic, a veritable heroine who single-handedly fended off the black dragon of legend. However, the young prodigy is actually super duper shy. Yep, turns out she only learned voiceless magic to avoid speaking in public. Ignorant of this, seven sages have placed her on a top secret mission to guard the second prince. Can Monica keep it together? as she contends with both social interaction and the evils targeting the young royal. And the last book is The Luminaries by Susan Denard. Hemlock Falls isn't like other towns. You won't find it on a map. Your phone won't work here, and the forest outside town might just kill you. Winnie Wednesday wants nothing more than to join the Luminaries the ancient order that protects Winnie's town and the rest of humanity from the monsters and nightmares that rise in the forests of Hemlock Falls every night. Ever since her father was exposed as a witch and a traitor, Winnie and her family have been shunned, but on her 16th birthday, she can take the deadly Luminary Hunter trials and prove herself true and loyal, and restore her family's good name. 
or die trying. But in order to survive, Winnie enlists the help of the one person who can help her train, Jay Friday, resident bad boy and Winnie's ex-best friend. While Jay might be the most promising new hunter in Hemlock Falls, he also seems to know more about the nightmares of the forest than he should. Together, he and Winnie will discover a danger lurking in the forest no one in Hemlock Falls is prepared for. Not all monsters can be slain, and not all nightmares are confined to the dark. These are just three great books that can start off your New Year's Reads list, so be sure to come on in and check them out. Thank you.